Hi guys, welcome back. So I wanted to do this intro for you guys today to kind of explain to you what it is I'm doing. If you guys are new to my channel, welcome. If you guys are returning, this may be a little bit different. I wanted to do this to kind of change things up a little bit and also test your intuition. So I know this worked for me. I will be putting your cards today in four different groups. Group 1, Group 2, Group 3, Group 4. Now before starting each zodiac sign, I will be meditating and I'll be asking my angels to give me the correct cards for a particular zodiac sign. All I ask for you guys to do is really concentrate, possibly meditate on which group do you think is going to give you the answer that you guys need right now in regards to how your partner feels about you. Now try not to hop around. Now try not to hop around too much, like belly. This is why I'm doing this video, you guys. So I don't have to do this intro 20 times. But it's starting to seem that way anyways. But try not to hop around too much, you guys, because this is how you know this works for you too. And that the messages that comes out today was intended for you. Guys, I hope you guys enjoy this reading with me and Belly and hope you find the guidance and clarity that you guys need, but know that this is a general reading. So my intention right now is for these messages to find its rightful owner, but know that it won't resonate with all of you. So if it resonates a little bit, for some of you guys, even if it resonates a little, just take what applies and leave out the rest. Hope you guys enjoy this. And we'll go ahead and get started. Bye guys. Hi Gemini, welcome back. Alright, so hopefully you guys had the time to pick the group that is calling to you. Alright, so let's go ahead and get started. I'm going to do your reading intuitively. Yeah, this King of Cups here, my hubby, wanted me to let you guys know that it really, I did my Taurus video on him and it's so funny how he said, let them know how it worked for us. He actually picked the right group. Funny, King of Cups right here. I don't know how to explain this to you guys, it does work. Okay, so those of you guys who picked group one, <clears throat> Gemini, you could be dealing with the Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. How your partner feels right now is... <laughs> I feel like they feel that they're like bending their backs for you in a way. Like they are doing a lot for you, but... They're feeling maybe very exhausted at work. They're taking on a bigger load than you guys are. There is this feeling that, you know, they're overextending themselves. They want to keep reaching, if you could see, I'm trying to do this intuitively. They're reaching for something here. They have true love for you, but they're not really expressing it or showing it because they feel like they can't. For some reason, they feel that it's like they're suppressing something. They're grieving in a way. There could have been a recent loss at home, at work. Just feeling tired and exhausted. But what they want is renewal. But they're still, I think, they, I feel like if it's not a third party, here comes Belly. If it's not a third party, they're 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 getting over something. There was a recent heartbreak. Maybe you guys have just recently gone. <laughs> See, told you. Let this start this video over. Let this start this video over. Come on, buddy. Oh. Oh. I know you want to do the video. I know, I know. 
I know you want to be in the video, and I'm washing the dishes, but... No! Huh? Come on, sexy. Good girl. Thank you, babe. Here's your key, girl. Right, Interruptions. I'm just going to go with it. I feel like there is something here that <clears throat> I really don't want to start your video over, Gemini. I feel like the person that you're with is like a family man. Someone who definitely is like, you know, there when you need them. He or she. I'm getting a he here. This person has your back, very supportive. As you can see, is probably something like this. This kind of vibe that you just got from me, my fiance, is kind of like how your partner feels towards you. You guys chose group one. They feel that way. You see how my hubby was doing the dishes and he was like nine wands up. He's like, all right, I'm coming. I'll save you. Overextending themselves, right? <clears throat> they're, they're kind of like, do I really have to? This is kind of what I'm getting from group one. If you can get that feeling, I don't feel that, you know, there's anything really going wrong with this group. It's just there's a lot of outside influences, possibly. Something in the external environment. But this person has true love for you. King of Cups is the most, you know, compassionate, loving king out of all the kings in the deck. Okay. <clears throat> for those of you guys who chose group two, could be dealing with an Aries, a Scorpio. Could have been, okay, someone made a head over heart decision to cut something out. They said, no, I'm done with this. I need to distance myself from you. There could have been travel. You guys could be separated. Could somebody here maybe living close to water? But I'm getting like, and somebody here maybe like, and I'm feeling like geographical difference between you and this person. Someone moved away. Someone made a head of, over heart decision to leave this relationship. I feel like they said, no, I don't want to do this anymore. But it's the death card in reverse. They're still thinking about you. They're still watching you guys from a distance. So this could be them checking out your social media, waiting for a reply. I'm feeling like they're waiting for a response. Or if you guys are waiting for a response from them, they're wondering if they should or shouldn't do something, but there will be a compromise between you and this person, Gemini. That's what's coming up. All right, those of you guys who chose group three could be dealing with a Leo, a Sagittarius. Something's delayed here for this group. It's Your card is telling... This is telling your partner to have patience. Now is not the time to do something. If you're, this is, I feel like uh, you guys are making, I feel like this is like a, already a committed relationship. You guys have gone through a lot with each other here. To the moon and back is kind of what I'm feeling. But as she's holding her stomach, I'm getting there's fertility, there's growth. <clears throat> but something's delayed. There's like one more thing that this person has to do. And it has to, it's like they're feeling that pressure of a yes or a no. It's almost giving me this feeling the answer is going to be a yes. Whatever question you guys had in mind, if you guys chose group three to a particular Gemini, that is watching this right now and chose group three. If you had a yes or a no question, I'm getting the answer is going to be a yes. Whatever kind of question you guys had, you guys are waiting on it, it was delayed, but the answer is yes is kind of what I'm feeling. It's just you guys haven't heard from something or someone yet. Maybe for a few guys, is it, you know, do you guys have a kid on the way? Are you guys moving, relocating? Are you going to get this home? Are you going to get this job? Are you going to get this promotion? I'm feeling yes, but something's delayed. 
something maybe you're de dealing with or your partner is dealing with. The Sun Reverse is still a very positive card. It's just there's, you know, um, something else that needs to be taken care of or done at this time. Alright, for those gems that pick group four, okay, two cards wanted to come out for you guys in this deck. Aries, Leo, Sag, and Scorpio. Heavy fire influences here. I have the King of Wands here. The Devil Reverse could be also Capricorn. Okay, what I'm getting with this partner is they were probably dealing with something a little bit more toxic. They may have had sex, drugs, alcohol, codependency, addiction, something that... I mean, I'm getting this guy is really adventurous, very thrill-seeking, love of sport, very, you know, out there when it comes to... Their actions, they, they're, they're go-getters, they don't sit around and wait. They're not as methodical or they're not as logical when it comes to relationships. They're very fiery, very passionate. They are very attracted to you. They are very, very, with the devil and the ace of wands and the king of wands, this person is very, very attracted to you guys. They feel that you guys, it could be you guys are maybe a she. If this person's a he and you're watching for group four, they feel that you are like the queen to this king. They, they, I feel like a strong commitment is coming. If you guys are waiting on finances or signing a document, just kind of want to throw that out there. If you guys are dealing with legality or about to sign new contracts or something, any kind of contract, it's coming. Money is going on the up and up with this person. Somebody maybe have had a gambling problem too with them seeing the devil and the six of pentacles here. I feel like all of this is like lessening. They want a passionate new beginning with you. And there's a lot of uh, improvements here. It's like a new life of beginning. Fresh new beginning. And the devil card's in reverse. So that's why I'm feeling this way. If you're wondering or you're worried that this person hasn't, if they're still in their old ways or old patterns, something that wasn't good for you or the relationship, this person is highly aware of what they need to change, what they need to fix to make things right again. All right, Geminis, I hope you guys enjoy this reading with me, my fiance, and Belly. And I will see you guys later. Bye, guys.